Hey, it is me, Zoe. Today I'm going to do a full um, 4th of July like makeup, nails, hair transformation. So yeah, let's just get on to, into this video and um, stay tuned, subscribe, and see how I get this look. Okie dokie, so first I think we're going to start with my hair because I really want to get it out of my face. And yes, it is wet, but who cares um so yeah i'm thinking of me doing like two little buns and then we have some of these pretty flowers that i can stick in them um yeah and i'll be wearing sunglasses obviously so first i'm just gonna brush my hair okay so now that my hair is brushed we're just gonna get started so I know I'm wearing pink today, but that's okay, um, <laughs> cause all I'm doing for red is lipstick and nails, so I can change my shirt if I need to, but for hair ties, I'm gonna be using blue hair ties, and yeah, so, first I'm just gonna really part my hair, like, ow, oh that's not brush well, okay, and now to part my hair well, I'm just gonna take a smaller hairbrush. And I will need a mirror, so I'm just going to use a little palette to do this. And I do have relatively long hair, so if this doesn't work, well, yeah. So, now I'm just going to do the buns and stuff. This is good enough. Okay, so now we're going to go on to our makeup. So, um, yeah, obviously it's going to be hot today. It's supposed to be like 87. That is insanely hot. Um, for like people in like California, I know it's not. But here in Wisconsin, it is. I'm just going to take my, my oil, the matte primer, and we're just going to. Get our face and my tea feed. Okie dokie, now that our priming is done, we're gonna go on with the foundation. And today, I think we're gonna try using our Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. It's a foundation that had any serum, but it should be fine because I'm using matte stuff. So we're gonna see if this matches me. Because in the past, it has not matched me at all. And that might be good, so. I need my mirror to check if it's matching. Oh, yeah. I like this foundation, guys. Although, like, 20 for 20 classic ivory, and there's only one shade lighter than this, this is pretty dark. Like, seriously, I could not use this. And in normal Maybelline stuff, I'm a 20. But, like, in this one, in winter, I'd be, like, the 10, which is, oh, that's fine, yeah, which is, like, the only other option they have that's lighter than that, which... It's not gonna fit like people of light, light, light skin tones. Anyways, now we're gonna go in with my um, well, my Google makeup stick and where's walnut? Okay, now we're gonna do our. Cream blush. Okay, y'all, so now that our cream products are blended in, we're gonna go in with our concealer. Yes, and 
the e.l.f. 60R Camel Concealer, and then the powder I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade, Fit Me is in the shade, um, 10 Fair Light, the concealer in medium sand, which honestly is not a medium color, like seriously, unless I'm darker than I think I am, which, so now I'm just gonna do this, and dot it and blend. Okay guys, so now we're going on to bronzer, blush, and highlight. So I'm just going to take the same like powder stippling brush I did, and I'm going to go into my Wet Wild Ticket to Brazil bronzer. Okay, so let's see how that looks. looking nice and good now so now we're doing our blush which so I'm going to mix breathtaking bloom and dazzle for our blush now for a highlighter we are going to do um we are going to use my Essence Go To Glow Palette. We're going to go in with that same brush I use for powder because I have no other good brush for highlight right now because I lost one. And the other one's dirty. So, too bad. Yes, yeah, so we're going to use the first gold color and then that pinky shade mixed together. Just to give a nice, like, all over glow. Not all over, but you know what? You guys probably know what I mean. Okay, now that we have our highlight on, we're just going to take that um, bronzer brush, brush out the stuff, and we're just going to go in and kind of buff it out. I'll fix it later. Okay, so now we are going to go on to the lights and the lips I'm using some red stuff so I'm going to be going in with this like brownish liner but this is the lasting finish by Rimmel and the shade Wild Clover I'm just gonna line my lips so now that my lips are lined and ready to go I don't know if I'm gonna want I think I'm gonna wear this like not super bright, but I'll put a brighter color in the middle. It's the LA Colors lipstick in the shade Berry Red. So now that we have that, um, put on, we're just going to blend it in with a lip brush. Mm, not Okay, maybe this one. We're just, just a flat lip brush. So I'm just going to blend this in. So now that we have that all blended, we're going to put a little bit of this um, Wet n Wild Stoplight Red lipstick in the middle. This is a very red lipstick, so we'll be careful not to do too much of it. So now that the middle, it kind of looks hot pink, we're going to blend that out. So now that our lips are red and ready to go, <laughs> ready, we're going to put some lip gloss on them. 
And this is the LA Colors High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss. It's like a pinky nude color. So now that that is all blended out, we're going to actually take a little cotton round. I recommend tissue for this, but I don't have tissues and just dab it a little bit. Just so. Oh no, I got it on my lips. Darn. I'm gonna have to Oh, this didn't turn out well. Okay, there, that's better. Now we are gonna finish off this look, y'all, by putting some mascara on our lashes. This is the Letna Mega Length. I found out I actually do like this. I just have to use a smaller amount than I was because my other mascara is dry. And I love dry mascara because I just feel it's awesome. But, you know, I'm just gonna coat the lashes. Okay, so that is what we're doing for the eyes. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be doing my nails, obviously, but that's going to take forever on camera. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later in the next video. Bye!